guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to be I am going to be doing a review on the new Myel Organics pomegranate and honey line y'all just don't know how much trouble I had to go to to get all of the products um, so um, if you would like to see my review on these products and how I styled my hair with these products, then please just continue to watch. Um, so right before um, fall began, Myel Organics dropped this new um, pomegranate, and, pomegranate and honey line, if you all haven't heard. Um, the packaging is so amazing, it's so pretty, like the packaging alone just makes you want to buy it. So um, I had a hard time getting it because it's only, um, right now it's only either on their website, um, on Sally's website or in Sally's stores. So immediately when the um, line first dropped, it sold out. So I had to wait, I visited um, several stores asking about the product and they were like, well, we haven't gotten it in or we're sold out of it. Um, so, and then, so I had waited, you know, a little while longer and then like one store would have like two products of the line that I wanted, but then the other store would only have like one. So it's like one store never really had the complete line so I could just buy it all in one place. So anyway, so, um, just so I wouldn't have to wait any longer that's just what I did I just got um, a few products from one store and then a couple of the products from another store so um, the first particular um, product that they have in the line well that I'm going to show you is the um, pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner and this is what it looks like and see, just look at this packaging, y'all. So shiny and so pretty, just so deep and rich. Um, and um, let's see, so the next product I got was the Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie. And this is what that one looks like. And, uh, so let me, let me just go back and tell you um, what these products are for. So for the leave-in conditioner, it's for coarse moisturizing and you can use it as a detangler too. And let me just say that the whole line is geared toward um, curly girls with thick curly hair. Okay, so that was the leave-in conditioner. And then, um, Back to the curl smoothie. It provides intense hydration, leaving hair soft and manageable. Um, I'm not going to use the curl smoothie today, so I can just go ahead and show you what that looks like or what the um, what the consistency is. So um, immediately, what I noticed when I opened this particular product was it has a curved stem. Can you see how curved that is? And I'm pretty sure like that's to make sure that, you know, when your product is running low that you'll be able to get the corners, well not necessarily the corners because it's round, but just get all in the nooks and crannies to make sure you get all of your product out. Okay, and um, the smell of this um, is like, it smells really good, like it smells so sweet and it almost smells like candy like the whole line and um, what it kind of reminds me of you know how Bath and Body Works has their scented candles like the ones that are like sweeter like that's what it reminds me of so if these like these scents could be candles so anyway okay and so the next um, product I got was the um, curling custard and it's for like I said, all these products are for um, thick curly hair. So basically this whole line is for styling. Okay, so you got the um, coiling custard here. So this is what the um, consistency of this looks like. It's a little runny. 
And it has like a clear, not clear, but it kind of looks like melted sugar. Um, smells really good. Like y'all, I'm telling you, I cannot place my finger on what particular scent um, that this, the what particular scent the Bath and Body Works candle it reminds me of. But I'm telling you, like I could just set it on my counter and just like light it because it just smells that good so good it smells like candy okay so then the last product um in the line that i got was the twisting souffle and this um and this particular product you can use um for like braid outs or twist outs and it's a thick cream you and um, yeah so it's thick and like I said braid outs and twist outs and this one it really doesn't smell like all of the other products it kind of smells um, it really doesn't have like a distinct scent to it so yeah so like I mentioned before these products are for styling purposes um, so I've already um, washed my hair with the Myel Organics um, Mangango Oil Exfoliating Shampoo and I deep conditioned with their hydrating conditioner that they have. So and um, yeah, so I have, I'm just going to take my hair out of this t-shirt. So it's still, hair still damp, but I'm still going to have my spray bottle handy just to spritz it. So the style I chose to do today is a wash and go. And I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner and the coiling custard. And um, so let's just get to styling. section it And um, I found like with um, wash and goes, like your hair has to be really, really, really saturated. And you really have to use like enough, well, a generous amount of the product to kind of cut back on the frizz. Um, so yeah. So I'm just, I'm gonna put my hair in smaller sections just to make sure, you know, easier to work with that way and if I want to get the best definition I'm going to drench it leave-in conditioner first and this is the consistency of it just it's very thick here that on my hair. And a 
look at the definition already. Wow. So I'm just gonna break that through. Make sure I get my roots because you don't want frizzy roots. Consistency of that. It's kind of sticky like. So I'm just going to get that much. Just rubbing in my hands. Really slippery. And I'm just going to smooth that on there. Put that on my roots as well. Just going to do the praying hands method and kind of make sure that's in.
so everything is complete now. Um, my hair smells really good. Um, curls are defined. Just gonna scrunch it a little bit. And um, let's see the, <coughs> excuse me. It says, um, well the directions for the um, coiling custard it says allow hair to air dry or diffuse for added volume. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it air dry for a little while and then um, I have somewhere to be in, oof, let's see, in about an hour and a half. So if it's not dry, um, say maybe 30 minutes before I have to leave, no, let's just go with 45 minutes. Um, I may um, diffuse it just to see what kind of results I get, um, but we'll see. But when I come back, I'll let you guys know what actually, well, what I actually did. All right. Okay, so this is my hair and it's still wet, like um, at my roots, but it's still, I mean, but it's dry here on the ends and um, it's a little crunchy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, diffuse some and see how that turns out. I'm gonna use um, this um, pomade to oil treatment um, from Myel Organics Mongongo Oil Line. Um, to kind of get some of the, the um, crunch out. So now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up in a pineapple um, with my satin scrunchie. And um, yeah, see how it turns out in the morning. But as you can see, like my curls are super duper defined and it kind of gives me that fluffy, um, fluffy look, not anything like too, you know what I'm trying to say. Just the full fluffy look and I'm pretty sure it might look even better as the days go by. So I'm just gonna stop um, playing with it right now. And um, like I said, put up in a pineapple. 